Hello my friends, the man with the red beard is back and today I'm gonna show you how to do the Orton effect. So this is the picture we are starting with and this is the direction we are going into. And of course throughout the video I'm gonna show you some of my secret sauce on how to make this effect a lot more interesting. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to delete everything here so we can start fresh even this down here and what you want to do when you get started to have a little bit more quality for your adjustments is that you go down here or up here to document and then to convert format and set it from RGB 8 to RGB 16 so we have more values in there so just click convert and now the picture has more quality when you save it as an affinity photo format it will be bigger but if you export it as a JPEG it will be reduced to 8-bit again automatically. Okay so what are we going to do first? First click on your original picture layer right click and duplicate that and then I'm gonna rename that so it's a little bit more clear what I'm doing so the lower layer I'm gonna call original and the upper layer I'm going to call Orton. There we go so this is a lot more cleaner. Right next to the layer you can see a little box with a hook in it. This means the visibility so we will unhook the Orton layer for the moment so it's invisible and select the original layer. Then we're gonna go down here to adjustments and create a levels adjustment. You can see here a histogram of your picture and you want to move the black level and the white level in so it's hitting the start of the histogram to give us a little bit more contrast in our picture like that. You can see how the picture is changing so we're gonna set these lines just where the histogram is starting. Okay. I'm gonna take the levels layer and drag it onto my original layer so it's in here and just affecting this layer. The next thing that I'm going to do is to click on the Orton layer and make it visible again. So click on this little hook here and with the Orton layer selected click over here on live filters. You see this little symbol down here click on live filters and create a Gaussian blur filter. Now that we have created that we will make the radius go up a little bit until we find something that we like so let's go maybe to 4.6 pixels in this case. This really depends on the resolution of your picture. So now that we have done that I can close the adjustment and I can open this here and just click on my Orton image layer. So select this here and set the blend mode to screen. So this already looks a lot different. Of course it's too intense for the moment but we're gonna do an adjustment next. So what you want to do and this is kind of a special way to do this is go over here to this little wrench, uh, not wrench, so cogwheel where it says blend ranges click on that and you open this little window and we want to use the left box that says source layer ranges. Take the upper left uh, point here and click and drag it down to the bottom and then down here it says linear unhook that and then make a point in the middle and drag it up and you can see now this is not linear it's a curve so you can you can move it up until you find that the Orton effect looks nice especially look at the flowers and at the hair if you like that and I'm doing this with the blend ranges because I want the effect only to be in the brighter areas not in the darker areas. Okay so now that we have adjusted that you can see that the face is way too overexposed it just doesn't look good but we can fix this very easily. So this is the next part of our secret sauce and this is that we just use a mask layer. Super easy so create a mask layer with the Orton uh, image layer selected this will pop into the layer. If in a case the mask layer sits on top like this 
click on it and blue means that it is selected and just drag it in here so you get this blue line that's a little bit shorter it ends at the thumbnail of your Orton layer like that whoops no yeah it's actually in here that's good okay so now that we have that we can just take our brush tool and set it to a size that feels good to you in the preview and set the hardness to zero and set the color to black and with this we can paint a mask where we simply paint out the face and maybe even the neck down here so you can see that now this part of the picture is not affected by our Orton effect at all and we have now this dreamy atmosphere in the rest of the picture but not on the face which makes it a lot more interesting, a lot more intense and brings out a very interesting dynamic in the picture. And of course, we still can see the beautiful face. Now, another thing that I would suggest to you is to adjust the colors a little bit. And for that, by the way, just a little advertisement, you can use my free LUT pack. I will link it in the video description, completely free to use. Um, click on adjustment layers and here on LUT and load lot like that and i first of all will use city dust like that it's too extreme of course but we can reduce that so let's pull this down to maybe 25 percent and you can see that this not only makes the picture warmer but also gives a kind of a nice dreamy shine on top of our orton effect and on top of that I will create a second LUT. So again, go to adjustments and to LUT. And this time we are going to use the faded pinkish LUT. This is an effect that originally is intended to look like a faded old photo. Again, we will reduce it. And the reason why I'm using this in this picture, I will reduce it to, let's say, 38%. That looks good. Is to warm up the pictures and bring out especially also her red hair so we get some nice pink red values and you can see the difference between not using the LUT and using the LUT it's kind of a nice effect it's kind of a nice look to have and this makes the effect more intense and I feel like it's more natural and more alive Okay, this was my tutorial on how to create the Orton effect and on top of it make it a bit more interesting. If you want to see other tutorials, suggest them in the comments. And like I said, you can download my LUT pack for free. There's 10 different LUTs in them. Try them out and see if you like them. Have a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.